down you go. Take it off. There you go. <laughs> down you go. Shake it off. Shake it off. Hi guys. You can tell by the air conditioner behind me. Anyone want to tell me where we are? No, I'm not live. There she is. Hi. There she is. Oh, and there's, there's AJ. So, baby came really quick. Very quick. Very quick. Very, very quick. You want to tell him what happened? Oh, you have it facing you? What? Is it facing yeah, me? Yeah, it's facing you oh. now. <laughs> um, so... I started having contractions, and actually this time I didn't wait until, I was trying not to wait until my water broke to wake up Alan, but um, as soon as I like started to, like trying to wake him up at 2 o'clock on the dot in the morning that I was having contractions, my water started to break in the bed again, and then he ended up calling 911 because I couldn't get out of bed. And then when they said, like, when I, when I realized he couldn't go in the, um, what is it called? The ambulance. Um, when he couldn't go in the ambulance with me, I was like, nope, we're walking. So I got in the car, got here. As soon as I got here, I was fully dilated, ready to push him out, and he was here. <laughs> um, but there were a little bit of complications, because... Sorry guys, I'm tired. <laughs> Cause um, my water only halfway broke, which was shocking because it was dry. It ended up being dragged from the reception desk all the way up to the delivery room. Cause my water was breaking all the way there, but they had to break it the rest of the way. Um, and when they did, he ended up swallowing the amniotic fluid and he got a little bit in his lungs, but he was okay from that. They have, an, they have him on an antibiotic. They have him on an antibiotic just to make sure that there's no, it doesn't, like he doesn't get an infection or anything. And then um, they had to do an emergency episiotomy because, uh, on me, because his, the cord was wrapped around his neck. And so, um, that's why I'm like very tired because I had a lot of adrenaline. They also gave me laughing gas because I was freaking out about getting stitched. I've never had a stitch in my life before. She thought the doctor was going to sew her ass shut. No, I yelled at, apparently I yelled at the doctor about it, but I didn't. She, she understood. Hi, baby. I love you. I do. I love you. I love you. I can't give you my other hand because I'm afraid you're going to rip out my ID. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to check um, on Mama. No, don't touch that. So right now... You don't need booby pumps. Right now, he's in the, he's been in the NICU. I still haven't held him yet. <laughs> um, I haven't even really seen him in person. I've seen pictures that Alan has sent me. Um, you want to flip it around? I'll just hold it. So... Um, he is hooked up to, oh, well, he was on oxygen. They said they just took him off, right? Mm -hmm. They took him off. He's breathing fine because at first he was having little issues breathing. Um, he has a feeding tube. They're going to see how he does um, feeding him through the feeding tube. Uh, and then I'm going to go down there when I get my next dose of uh, ibuprofen. And I'm going to attempt to see if he'll latch. Because no. I didn't get to do it right away. Because of them taking him to the NICU so quickly. Um, he, he has a little bruising on his sides. Um, AJ's getting into everything. Now he's being curious because um, the camera's rolling. Right. Um, it's... Uh, it, it, it wasn't, so Alan couldn't be there while 
in like while I was in in like in active labor pushing and he was coming out because he stayed with AJ which I mean it was I mean it happened so quick it was like I didn't even get out of the parking lot huh I didn't even get out of the yeah he didn't even get like get to leave the parking lot and he was already here um let me I did get to see Nathan, and I did get to hold Nathan. Well, I held him. He held my finger because it got like the tubes and stuff. I was about to say, wait, what? <laughs> um, Sarah has not yet, but she's gonna be going in there to feed him for the first time. A little after three. Yeah, in about forty minutes. About forty minutes. Sarah is finally gonna get to meet. Nathan. Face to face. Yeah. She has seen him through video chat with me. So um, I was in there for a while yesterday. I can't go in there now because AJ is here. Today. Today. He was born this morning. It's yesterday to me. It's a new day. Uh, it's a new day after you sleep. Excuse me. Put that back. Put that back. AJ. Mm -hmm. AJ. AJ, where's that? AJ, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Hi, baby. You hear mama? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. So how did, how, did, how did he deal with his feeding? Good. Yo, it's your baby. So every six hours, we're gonna go up by five mLs and down on his IV fluid. So at nine o'clock, um, he'll get 15 mLs, which is half an ounce of food, and his IV will go down to nine. So eventually what'll happen is he's getting more. It's mama and the baby. You got hiccups? You got the hiccups? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I'm recording a video, so yeah, you got that on video. Hi. Is this first hiccup? Probably Outside not. Of the you got the hiccups? <laughs> you silly. Who are you silly, man? How has he been? I got here at 6.30, and he has been completely asleep since then. Oh, wow. The nurse practitioner did come in. He's got a little bird right here, too. Just oh, right yeah. there on his Oh, hiccups. I'm not, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't. Mama's been on hold for like 20 minutes. Just trying to get lunch. No, no, no. AJ still doesn't understand he can't lay on mama yet. So he gets angry and then tries to run away. And then he throws all his stuff on the floor. How are you feeling today, mama? You look beautiful. Yeah, I can make it feel like you're on an explore. <laughs> if you didn't see, guys, I, t I turned on the I LED. I
down. Yeah. I think Mama slept better now that she was actually able to hold and feed Nathan. No. I'm sorry. They just need to roll him in here so we can bring him home. the baby in the hospital, but guess who's behind us? They closed that. <laughs> I don't want it too bright. Nathan's coming home. Thank God. <laughs> How do you feel, Mama? So much better. I don't have to be in the hospital. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Once Mom's again. hungry. <laughs> it's going to be like every video now. I'm going to be eating something. And she doesn't eat in the car, guys, <laughs> ever. It's like the biggest no-no for her is she never eats in the car. But apparently breastfeeding makes you really hungry. <laughs> so. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, obviously, we'll show, him, we'll show him to you guys when we get in the house. But he ended up being 7 pounds, 15 ounces. Um, 20 and a half inches long. Isn't that what AJ was? What? Lengthwise, isn't that what AJ was? Mm -hmm. AJ was 21. Mm -hmm. I know, so far off, but. Mm -hmm. So, that... it was so cute. So, when every, so when I, um, Nathan had a dirty diaper and I had to change it while we were, before we left. And AJ was sitting on Ellen's lap. <laughs> I thought she was going to throw something at us. I thought she would need she was going to say something. Um, and as soon as Nathan started to cry, AJ cried. He did not like seeing his brother upset. Oh. It was so cute. But it was like, oh goodness. I can see the protectiveness building yeah. in AJ. He fits snug in this seat. AJ doesn't. We also had a different seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see AJ being very, very, very protective mm -hmm. over this baby. They look so similar. It's, it's a little freaky seeing them no. next to each other. No. There are differences. No. But when I was are... sitting, so I, would, I was going back and forth to the NICU, and Alan was staying home with AJ because bringing AJ to the NICU was just so it was very it was way too hard because AJ only he's, he's not even two yet so his, his attention span is like a squirrel so he, it's like he did not want to sit still we did try it but it didn't work so I would go in the NICU and I would sit there and hold Nathan and feed him and do what I had to do for out a few hours and it was just look looking at his eyes was literally like looking at Alan it was so weird I was like, it like, like there was no, there's no difference in their eyes. AJ has a mix between me and Alan's eyes, but Nathan's eyes are the exact same. So it, it was so weird sitting there by myself. It was, and then when I would talk to Nathan, he would look at me and I would, and I would be like, it's like talking to, to, to your daddy. <laughs> His expressions Nathan does that AJ does uh -huh. is like exactly the same. It's... And when they you see him doing it together, thing. it's funny. <laughs> they have eyebrow expressions. Oh, man. I'm glad I don't have to make this drive a couple times a day. Me too. I'm glad I don't have to keep Well, sitting. next time we well, come no, down I'm here, it's going to be for dumpster dives. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no more. Uh, I was gonna say we're done with dumpster dives. Uh, like, what? No. no, we're not done. 
We're only just begun. With oh, the babies. <laughs> oh, that should be our catchphrase. We're oh. not done. We only just begun. We're gonna be like really corny superheroes catchphrases. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I am so fine with that. And apparently, I guess you guys are gonna see a whole different side of me now that I'm not pregnant anymore because I guess Alan said my personality is coming back because I guess I was miserable. Jeez. <laughs> miserable doll most of the time. Uh, it was the second she couldn't travel. Yep. More than like a few miles. Her mood just went straight down. Because right now I'm actually using my breastfeeding pillow as a donut to sit on because of my stitching. And it's actually the most comfortable I've ever sat in the car. Mm -hmm. So I just can't get really in and out of the car easy. But. Um, also, too, um, I know we're, we're getting very close to a thousand subs. We're at 900 and something, I think, at the time of recording this video, which is absolutely astonishing. Yeah. Um, I did not think that growth this quickly was no. possible. Uh, we're glad you guys are enjoying our content. If there's anything that you guys would like to see, uh, like to see us do, anything like that, let us know. Mm -hmm. We are down with everything. Where are I'm, uh... I'm going to get him home first. Um, but no, we appreciate every single yeah. one of you. If you want to, if you want to see something from us, put it in the comments. We're down with anything. Um, eventually, as I as I said before, we are going to be doing some explores because Trash to Treasures isn't necessarily just dumpster diving. There are some trashy buildings that are out there that need to be explored that could be turned into a real treasure for like a homeowner, a business owner, investment property, whatever it is. So when we see them, we're going to do some explores too um, coming up eventually. Um, I know one of the bigger ones is I am going through Frank Lloyd at some point, don't know when, but that is on my list, and since we have the channel, I might as well record it. I was going to go through without it, but since this is going, we're going to include that. If you want to donate and help fund this channel and keep it going because, you know, we're poor people too, um, the donation link right now for our PayPal is in the description below. Did you just say we're poor people too? We're poor people too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, we, we do go around and, like, help the needy, but, like, we're not in... Oh, we're not struggling, like, that bad. Yeah, we're not struggling, but... We're not rich. We're not rich either, but um, these things, this, I mean, obviously this, this, all this costs money and gas and equipment and all the stuff that we do. Um, if you want to help us out and donate, the link is down below. Uh, once we cross that threshold to become an actual YouTube partner, which we're this close, again, thank you. Uh, we're going to have the memberships and you guys will be able to donate when we're live and whatever you want to do there to help us out. It's not required. We're not expecting it at all. If you want to help, just there's the link. It's there for you. If you don't, we completely understand that too. We're not in it for the money, but every little bit helps as you know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut this now. We'll see you in the house and you guys can finally meet Nathan. Yes. So excited. See you in a few. Daddy. So everyone, this is my aunt Michelle holding Nathan for the first time. Can you see him? Hi. Oh, there he is everyone. AJ. AJ, the moment you've all been waiting AJ. for. Hey, get down. <laughs> no. Yeah, everyone. So this is this is Nathan. There he is finally. You say hi to everyone. You say hi. Oh, here you are. Here you are. Look at you. Look at you. Good job, Mama. Good job. Hey. Jesse, he was trying to get Where's <laughs> Oh, that face. That little face. What's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, those green bags that are in the car need to come out. Yeah, I'll come out. So that has the rest of the stuff in it. Oh, you hungry? I see that tongue moving. <laughs> I see that tongue moving. Yeah. The Natalie. Her entire life has been asking for a brother or sister, and now she's got two brothers. <laughs> How does it feel to have another brother? I like it. <laughs> oh, look at them, guys. Oh, 
Oh, I see. I'm just hungry. His, his, you can't even tell he had his IV in. <laughs> what you getting into? Oh, you want your, your thing, your toolbox? Yeah. Oh, look at AJ. Oh, he's already not even home five minutes and he's destroying his room. <laughs> Typical boy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's getting mad. Oh, yeah, he's hungry. All right, guys, we'll see you in a few. So, he's fighting sleep. Stand there. <laughs> he's fighting a nap. And then Mama's up there with, uh, with the baby. He just ate. I think he's sleeping now. Living all alone in the middle of the sea. Unchained body works every time. Yeah, you don't know.